Alright, yo, so guys, Leek here, bringing a tutorial on how to create <clears throat> a simple background. This is on how I create them. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I already have my uh, 3D text rendered out. Um, I'll make a tutorial on how to make all these layers and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. But, not to say I'm trying to save time, so here's the text I made. looks pretty good and once I put the text in here what I first do is I add a gradient map I set it to overlay I scale to 125 and I put the opacity on 85 and then I just duplicate it and I merge so if I turn it sideways the gradient will still go that way so let's drag that into the template now Okay. And once I put it in here, I keep it at its original shape. Well, I scale it down a bit, but I keep it big, right? Like I'll put it right here. Okay. And I'll lower the opacity to about five. And I'll duplicate it. And I'll turn the opacity back up. I'll make it smaller. So that in the background, you'll see a bit, but not like, not a lot. <laughs> Hold on. Let me do this real quick. All right. So now uh, what we want is to bring it closer to the module, like that, and I'm going to put it on top of it, okay, and let me see what another gradient looks like, I'll scale to 150, I'll put the opacity on about 10, okay, now I'm going to add drop shadow, distance 0, spread 15, size 20, okay, and I'll even add a little bit more of an effect, um, I'll duplicate the layer, take off the drop shadow, keep the gradient, and go filter, blur, motion blur, and put it on 90 for the angle. And I'll lower the opacity to about 20. Okay. The next thing is um, adding textures. So I'm going to use a couple of textures for my uh, Christmas pack if you download it. Okay. Put that in Photoshop. Okay. And then now. Scale that down. I'm not going to show too much of my uh, secrets and stuff like that about how I make the text blend in with the um, image. Um, I'm going to do that later on sometime, but not for this tutorial. Okay, next. Get a good size eraser and just blend it in. Like erase the edges so that's smooth. Like that. Okay. Let me see what soft light will look like. Yeah, that'll look good. And then I'm just going to put one pre clipping mask. And put it over top of the text. Set the overlay. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna erase the top of the text a bit. Like that. And then lower it to about 50. That looks about right. Okay, now since this side is looking good to me, all we need to do is put into a group highlight. 
control G, duplicate it, and send it to the other side. Horizontal foot vertical and line up back up with the text. There we go. And send it across. Okay, it looks good. And now we can't forget the bottom part because that's a, another huge part. So put that into a group, duplicate it, control T. Horizontal, vertical, then line it back up with the text. And then put it behind here. Okay. That looks good. And um, with this 3D text, what you can also do is this looks pretty cool if you bring it in here. And then, um, Play over top, and then if you make the text smaller, like that, and you uh, turn it a bit, maybe play across this box right here, so that if we uh, click on the box, magic wand, shift control I, uh, shift control I. And we delete, and we create clipping mask, and we lower the opacity a bit, then our text will be right there, that looks good, and then we already have the fade up, and um, I'm just going to add gradient map, reverse, Set to overlay 40. Another one. Yeah, another one. And we add this uh, one that everybody uses basically purple and orange and set that to soft light or overlay. Um, I'm going to set to soft light and put that on half of that, which is 20. And, um, yeah, if, uh, you know, I'm just gonna say design by my name real quick. How much time do we got? Alright, I'm on schedule. Alright, and then I'll put uh, design by Put that up here. And then just add a gradient to it. Just like a little bit. Yeah, looks good. Okay, and uh yeah. Like I said, this is on how I make um YouTube backgrounds normally. Um I'm not going to go into further detail on how I make, like, the the ones I put more time into. But this is on how I just made a quick, I would say, six-minute one. And I will have the text. Since I'm nice, I'll have this in the description of this Lightroom so you could change it. And I'll have the PSD in here. And um, you could get rid of design by because you don't really need that if you're making it. And I don't want to be known for designing something I didn't do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, comment, like, and subscribe.